We're on top of Acker's Furniture in Guelph, Ontario. And we're on top of this place because of this chimney in which two chimney swifts are nesting. And we're here to try to capture them and learn something about their biology. They're a bird that captures insects while foraging in the air. So they're very aerodynamic. They look like small boomerangs. It used to be just the swift in which it nested in hollow trees prior to European contact in North America. They've subsequently taken to nesting in chimneys, which provide a nice, hollow, safe, and warm structure. They're threatened both provincially and federally. They've decreased over 40% just in the past decade. We know very little about what's causing them to be reduced in their populations, and that's what we're trying to figure out. Insects and habitat, those are the two primary possibilities. That insects are either harder to get, or they're fewer, or that habitat is becoming uh, more and more rare across their landscape. So in order to study the, the range and the habitat use of chimney swifts, we're using radio transmitters. We're getting a better idea of their home range, the habitat that they need, also important, uh, important areas that might supply resources, like water, for example, or do they need uh, forested areas? What are the areas that they're really relying on for their survival? So once I put a transmitter on the bird, then the antenna is such that it will continuously gather data. Yeah, 24-7 gathering data on, uh, on the location of the birds that I tag. This will provide us with probably the most unprecedented set of information about chimney swift habitat in Ontario. The first and foremost thing that this will be used to inform is the habitat regulation for the chimney swift. The habitat regulation is a necessary byproduct of the species having been listed. Even though they're using human provided structures, they're using them because their natural structures are so rare. So if we don't conserve them in the structures they're using now, then where are we to conserve them? 